I went to a country school. I walked to school. It was in a country school because my, we lived in the country. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, but then after I finished the eighth grade, I went to Stigler by bus to high school. I was the first one to graduate in my family for a high school. And uh, so I moved there and uh, I was, um, became engaged to a, a soldier. He went abroad and was killed. So from there, uh, in uh, World War II, I was sort of lost as to what to do. So a girlfriend and I joined the WACs. I was in there 18 months. They gave me, and that was toward the end of the war. Mm -hmm. So I um, uh, was in uh, the WACs for 18 months. I did a lot of uh, accounting, clerical work and whatever. And uh, they gave us a chance to either go abroad or get discharged, so I became discharged. That gave me the privilege of t two years in business college. So I went to business college, and then I started working after that, and then I met my first husband. Uh, but as I said, I was married to him for 30 years, and then in 1980, I remarried because he died in 76. I remarried to a um, Harry Sherer, which was my present husband. I was married to him for 31 years, so. He, he was recently widowed. <clears throat> uh, he had four children. Three were in college when we got married. I did some work in the vicinity, maybe a dollar an hour or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. But then I had an aunt and uncle that moved to uh, uh, Tulsa. And I don't know, my family didn't want me to be overly exposed to Native Americans. They never wanted me to, you know, they thought I'd advance faster. Well, I don't know, I think they wanted me uh, they realized that you advance faster as a Caucasian. And that was one of the reasons, uh, because there's times, yes, I would be discriminated against. And how so? Just... Um, oh, maybe you weren't chosen to do a certain thing or, you know. And I mean, I could feel it, but I never said anything to anyone about it. I just accepted it, moved on, which um, I didn't know what else to do, you know. It was, it was my, you know I, I just did my thing, so to speak, and didn't cause any problems and whatever, so. I um, <coughs> enjoy um, making uh, my how, how, a little unit more beautiful. You know, I, when I was 81, I um, put all the brick around my patio and everything to when I first moved here. So, uh, I did work hard. That's <laughs> over. That's <laughs> over. Walking is a little problem now. So, but I enjoy that. It relaxes me. I made, I did quite a bit of sewing. When I was growing up, I didn't have a whole, uh, bought dress from the store until, oh dear, I was out of high school, I guess. I made my own uh, prom uh, dress June, uh, and for um, junior year and senior year. Was in the junior play wearing the same dress. So it was a gown, of course. The birth of my children are the fondest, yeah. all three of them. They were all born at the same hospital in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and that to me was the fondest memories is the children. 
a family reunion at my grandfather's house, and uh, there was a lot of people there, maybe 60 or so. And I was bitten by a copperhead at that point. So I'll have to tell you what they did for me without taking me to a hospital or whatever. After I was bitten, they're, they're, at that time they had what they call hunters. You know, people who, that's all they did for a living is hunters. They'd find the animals, kill them, sell the hides and so forth. I don't know whether you recall any of that. But um, this hunter, after I was bitten, this hunter uh, killed a snake. And in uh, and, and the meantime, my aunt had tied a tourniquet up here. So you got bit on the right? Oh, it was on the foot. I have a scar on there. Um, and she would naturally open and close the tourniquet, you know, and whatever. Um, but um, uh, this hunter slit the snake open in his tummy and put it on my foot. I said, what? Oh, they said, what, that, what is that for? And they said to draw out the poison. So they called the doctor, you know, then they made home house calls in. And he came, he says, I can't do anything else. So I'm frightened of snakes. I would say so. Very. It worked. It worked. Apparently, being a hunter, they had to have something to, you know, protect their lives and whatever. Be willing to change as you advance in life, because there's all types of changes, which I've gone through numerous changes. And uh, you have to in order to advance. In order to compete in some uh, business procedures, which I, I, as I say, I only had two years, but I had to learn to change to follow their instructions and, you know, I enjoyed my work. I was always, uh, I, I was not super in math, but I ended up doing accounts payables, receivables, and procedures, office management, and stuff like that. I was always ambitious. I wanted to learn. Well, uh, I was determined to uh, succeed. And if, you're, if you don't have any determination, just forget about it. If you just want to do something partial, or uh, that doesn't work anymore. Thank you.